Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Maddie's World in Curls. Today we're going to be making chocolate truffles, and I saw this from Sarah's Bead Corner, and this is what we're going to be using. Cocoa powder, and some condensed milk. So come on, let's go. Okay guys, before we start, just to let you know, I'm not doing this by myself. My mom is supervising me. Okay, first we're going to start with a can of condensed milk. You need a whole can. I'm going to pour it in. I have to get all of that out. And now we're going to pour, pour in our quarter cup of cocoa powder. And now we're going to have to stir. So you have to stir it until the mixture gets thick, just like she said. So the next step is we have to pour the mixture into the bowl. This looks so yummy. Gonna have a lot of chocolate truffles. And remember guys, have an adult supervise you. So now I'm gonna put it in the fridge to let it cool for one hour. The batter has been in the fridge for an hour. Now it's time to take it out. Oh, it looks so nice. So now we're going to use a cup to take some of the cocoa powder and put it in a plate or a bowl. and just take some of the batter. Wait, I need more. Oh. oh my gosh, it's so sticky. I'll have to put some cocoa powder to get it in this. <laughs> it's, it's very messy. Um, really messy. I gotta mention, you need something to put it on like this plate, and it, 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 it really is messy. So, I'm gonna put it in the co cocoa powder, roll it up into a bowl, and put it on the plate. Hopefully, it tastes good. <laughs> okay, take some, put it on your hand. Oh. I thought this would turn out a little bit easier. Okay. Roll it up. Put it on the plate. Oh. I'm gonna make a couple of these and I'll be back. Guys, this is way more messier than I thought and it's really hard, really hard to do by yourself. It's very, very messy. My experience doing this, it's not that easy. I hope it tastes good. I really want it to taste good because I went through all this mess. It better taste good. As you see I'm back, I had to change, wash my hands because the powder kind of splashed on me. But now I'm back, 
These aren't really balls anymore. They're sort of like blobs. So here goes the taste test. Hope it's good. I have to use a fork because they're very messy. I'm just gonna cut it like that. Okay. Here we go. It's, it's really sticky. Oh. You can't pick these things up. How do you do this? That was messy. I mean, it tastes delicious. These are my recommendations if you want to try this recipe. I would rather put them in longer so it would be easier to form a ball. Here are my recommendations if you want to try this recipe. I would leave them in the fridge longer so it's easier to form a ball. And they're, they're very messy. But this is not an everyday snack. It's just for special days because it's not that healthy. It's just a nice treat when you really want to end when you when it's a special day. But it, it tastes delicious. I'm going to give this an 8. I'm going to get someone else to taste it. My big brother Ethan. Hello. <laughs> and what, let's see what he thinks. So creepy. <laughs> Tastes okay. Pretty good. So Ethan, what do you think? Tastes really good. It tastes like chocolate on top of chocolate on top of chocolate. Yeah. So let's see what my mom thinks. <laughs> these are like, these are blobs. <laughs> I know. It tastes like cold hot chocolate. Okay, let's try it. Here we go. What do you think? It tastes like chocolate brownies. No, it tastes. It does. Like, oh, it does. does. It tastes like cold hot chocolate. It tastes like brownies. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> good job, honey. Good job. It's still very messy though. <laughs> Okay guys, I gotta go, but next time we'll try a different recipe on Maddie's World and Curls, and make sure to like and subscribe. Bye!